the next thing we have is underwear. One of the next things I have, I'm so excited for these, my ring! Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a 15 things that I've bought for my wedding day. I think it's 15. It could be 14. We'll see. I'm getting married in around about a week's time. Yeah, it's come around so freaking quickly. I honestly can't believe it. A week's time. I'm going to be marrying my best friend. I'm so excited. We've just had our sort of five year together anniversary um, on the 13th of June this year. So it's so special that in literally a week's time we're going to be getting married um, and I can't, I literally am so excited but I don't want to babble about that for too long in this video oh I've got my little bee necklace, I don't think I've shown you guys this yet because I haven't done a video since but for our um, five year together anniversary, James surprised me with a trip to Venice which was just ridiculous um, if you wanted to see more about that we do have videos over on our vlogging channel we vlog together three times a week we upload on there so if you were interested in any of the kind of behind the scenes vlogging in my life that's all over on the vlogging channel but look you got me this little bee necklace it's so freaking cute and a bee bee bracelet to match where's my little bee gone here for busy bee I thought I would do a haul on all the kind of stuff that is not the kind of usual so obviously we've bought so much stuff for the wedding so like you know, things like confetti and the decorations, the flowers, there's loads, <laughs> loads that goes into a wedding. Um, but I wanted to, I kind of just got excited about all these little bits and bobs that I've bought. Things that I'm basically really excited to show you guys and I've been, they've been sitting in this room and they've all been arriving over the past week or so and I've been like, I really want to show all of you guys all this cute stuff that I've ordered um, and so I just thought I would do a video. So, where should we start? Let's just start with whatever's closest to me. Something for us that we really wanted to do was have a guest book where people could take a photo of themselves and put it straight in the guest book and write a little something, whatever they want to write in there. So one of the first things that I'm going to show you guys, I don't know why this has got like stains on it, I don't think you can see them very well. Um, so one of the first things we got was a Polaroid camera. We really love the idea of that people being able to have a little station where we put a book. So we also ordered this little book. Let me just get out the packaging. This little book to sit by the Polaroid camera and it's just got plain pages like this. We're gonna sit together on a little table um, where the guests can see it and it's gonna have a little sign like take a selfie or something, you know. Don't know how long you have to wait for. So we'll just wait for that to develop and I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, so that was one of the first things that I got really excited about getting. Next thing that I've got is here. I bought this so long ago and it's been sitting in my cupboard for so long, um, waiting for my wedding day. So I went into Yankee Candle and I found, oh, you can't see it, the wedding candle, the wedding day candle. Now, it smells, it basically smells of cotton, linen, fresh sheets, that kind of like candle vibe, you know, very fresh, you know, like light it on the day whilst we're getting ready, um, so we're getting ready at the venue, candles lit. I'm getting way too excited about these things and they're probably not even that exciting for you guys. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I will show you guys is my necklace and my earrings. Um, now I've got these as a pair, I think I counted them separately, necklace and earrings, because I, w I wasn't necessarily going to get them from the same place um, when I started looking, but I ended up getting them as a matching pair. And I was talking about this on my Instagram stories the other day, and I was saying, I'm not really that fussy with jewellery, like I don't really know anything about like nice jewellery, I just like any jewellery. Then when it's like your wedding day and like you start overthinking everything, you end up like just thinking way too much about a freaking necklace and it's freaking necklace shape around your neck. So yeah, I ended up getting this. Um, I really like the dainty chain. I love the matching earrings. And originally, oh, please excuse my nails. I haven't had them done. I'm waiting to have my wedding nails done very soon. I want to try it on, but I'm also just like too scared to kind of break it or anything. And I just want to savor it until the wedding day. So you'll have to wait till the wedding picks to see them. Okay, next let's show some pajamas. Another thing that I bought for my wedding day was some bride-to-be pajamas. I have one set from Primark, which is this kind of like Mickey Mouse bride-to-be. I bought these a little while ago actually. And then I also bought another pair from Boohoo, which was kind of a cute plain, I have actually worn this, that's why it has a little coffee stain there. Um, a cute little bride-to-be t-shirt. This one is like super soft and then some matching shorts to go with it. So that's really cute as well. I basically wanted some pajamas to wear 
on the morning whilst I was getting ready that said bride to be on them. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to end up wearing those because I'll show you something else that I've bought for the morning as well. Okay, one of the other things that I purchased for the wedding day was a bracelet. Now, I bought all my bridesmaids little necklaces um, to go with their dresses. They're wearing like dusty pink floor length bridesmaid dresses. Dresses come up to about here so they needed to be quite short necklaces and there was some really cute, oh wait, I think I actually have I actually have one of them here because one of my bridesmaids lives in London so I'm looking after this one until she gets here. I don't know how well you can see that right now but it's basically three little hearts. One has got a little diamond in. Sit like that, nice and high, just three little hearts. Hearts of love for a wedding day! So I thought it'd be really cute to buy myself a matching bracelet, something to tie in with them. And it's just a little one with two hearts. The sort of strap is really uh, petite and it's just gonna sit like that and sort of tie in with the bridesmaids necklaces, which I love the idea of. Okay, let me put these away before I break them. <laughs> okay, next thing I think we'll do are the shoes. Uh, I only went to one place to try on shoes. Loads of people that I've spoken to about shoes for weddings have said, you need to get comfy shoes. The shoes will literally ruin your day if they're not comfy. Everyone seemed to be recommending the Rainbow Club as like, they're basically wedding shoes. Like they're really comfy wedding shoes. They have memory like foam or something up like on the top underneath, just like, it's like wearing a cloud. Also, I didn't want something too high. I just wanted something with a tiny little heel. So I went for these. I love them so much. They've just got a little tiny heel on them. They also all have a little bit of a blue sort of gem here within the Rainbow Club uh, name because um, it covers you for your something blue. After your wedding, you can send them back to the company and they will dye them any color literally any colour you want. Oh look, my Polaroid has come out. Okay, that didn't come out very well, um, but they all kind of come out differently, so it's kind of like a little bit hit, hit or miss, but it doesn't really matter about the quality of the photo, it's more just kind of like the idea of being able, people being able to print off, stick it in, and just write a little message. I literally love the idea of that, and so, oh, that's gonna be so fun. Okay, next we will do hair pieces. Now, I bought these little hair pieces um, from John Lewis from somewhere called Ivory & Co. They do really cute sort of like wedding-y style jewellery, wedding-y style hair pieces, loads of different things like that. They were expensive, they were £45 each, and I'm actually not wearing them. Which is so, so sad. So they were £45 each, um, and originally the hairstyle that I was going to go for, I'll pop up a photo, when I ha first had my first hair trial, we did quite a formal look, um, and the pieces sat really nicely, but I, after that trial I was thinking, it doesn't really suit me, like I wanted more of a messy, bun, sort of usual me style, I didn't really feel like myself in that style, even though it was like gorgeous. And these just didn't really suit the sort of style that I sort of wanted to go for in the end. Um, now I still could use them on the day or I may sort of see if my bridesmaids or anyone wants to use them and I'm sure I could also sell them on. I mean they're really nice so I'll probably just keep them because also like my sister's getting married and then I have another sister after that. People may want to use these in the future so it is it is something that I probably will get use out of so I'm not too annoyed about the fact I'm not using them. Actually now I'm going to be looking for, I've forgotten what it's called but I'll pop up a photo. I think that kind of intertwiny style of flower or even like a couple of real flowers, I don't know, something that'll suit a sort of messy bun style, because I would quite like to put something in there, but then I've also got my veil in there, which is, covers like half the hair anyway, so we'll see. One of the next things I have, I'm so excited for these, these are probably one of my favourite things that I've ordered. Now, I wanted to order dressing gowns to get ready with in the morning. Me, my three bridesmaids and my mum are all getting ready together at the venue, um, at the morning of the wedding. I was looking on places like Boohoo, because they, like, lots of kind of those websites, ASOS, they have like bride-to-be stuff and dressing gowns and stuff, and I ordered a few, and they just like, I felt like they just weren't my vibe, so I was like, mm, I'm not really, not really feeling those, sent them back, and I was looking on, not on the high street, because I know they do loads of personalised stuff, and I was like, okay, I have found the perfect ones for us. So I'll show you mine. They come in little bags like this and I don't really want to get them out of the bags because I'm going to be giving to them as presents. Um, they were £25 each, so they were more expensive than the ones off Boohoo, the ones off ASOS. But I knew I wanted to get them a little something, so they've got their necklaces and they've got this as like a little thank you for just being the best people ever. Um, and they come in these little bags and you can like 
do them up like that and so I don't really want to get them out of the bags because I know that I won't be able to fold them in the same way but so I got mine in white and then I got the other four in a baby pink I think they'll go together really nicely and then the white is obviously for like the bride I just feel like these suit us all a little bit better just like cottony slouchy comfy dressing gowns but yeah this is what they look like from the front they're just like very comfy material love it and then on the back you've obviously got I don't know how well you can see that but you've got the design. I just feel like they're going to be really easy and just nice to get ready in. So comfortable, so easy to move in and just <sighs> drink Prosecco, have Prosecco? Drink Prosecco, have snacks and just get ready for my wedding day. Okay, I'm so excited. I really don't want to get them dirty or anything. I want them to be nice and fresh. I can't wait to kind of give them out, unbox them and put them on on the day and just get ready in our comfy dressing gown. I know some people will think that's so stupid and a waste of money, but it was something that I really wanted to do and that's what your wedding day is about. I really like stuff like that. I really like cute little personalised things and dressing gowns and getting ready and being comfy. So that was like a big thing to me and although it may not be a big thing to other people on their wedding days, it was for me. Okay, so on the theme of getting ready in the morning and personalised stuff, again, people are going to probably think this is such a waste of money, but I like stuff like this. Um, I had little prosecco -y, well they're actually champagne, but little glasses that we're going to drink our Prosecco out of, made with our names on. I'm so cringy, honestly, I love it. So this one's mine, again, you probably can't see it that well, but it just says Karis, um, and everyone's everyone has their own name written on theirs. Again, it's a nice little something that they can take away from the day as a little reminder and have a little personalised champagne glass forever. This one's Billy for my maid of honour. Cheers. We're going to um, have Prosecco and orange juice in the morning and I'm literally going to sip it because I honestly am the biggest lightweight ever. Okay, the next thing we have is underwear. Okay, so when you think about like wedding underwear, you always think like really sexy, really cute, lacy, white. Um, but in the reality of it, you're gonna want something comfortable. You're gonna want something with a little bit of sexy and sass to it, of course, it's your wedding day. You also need something that suits your dress, whether you've got a tight dress, a flowy dress. I've worn different types of pants in each fitting just to get an idea of which ones are the best ones, which ones are the most comfortable. Now, I ordered a pair recently and I wore them to my last fitting and they are by far the most comfortable. They've got comfortability, is that a word? Don't know, they're comfortable. They are sexy still. They are perfect for like, you cannot see them at all in the dress. I ordered two in two colors. This is the nude color. The color that I'm actually gonna be wearing is a light pink color. I'll pop up a picture. But this is the exact same pants. You've got laciness on the back. You've got all lacy on the back, which is exactly what I wanted. Because if I have anything, if I have like a full on thong, I might feel a little bit uncomfortable. Brazilian that isn't full lace, gives me a double bum, so it like cuts into my bum. I needed like a, a sort of seamless lace to just sit and not like give me a double bum or be uncomfortable. This was literally the perfect pant. It had that on the back, so it just sits so comfortably on the back. Um, and then on the front, they're high-waisted. They sit really nice at a really nice level. They don't sit too tight. They don't sit too loose. They just sit and they're so comfortable. And I showed them to James and he was like, those are so practically sexy like they're practical and also sexy at the same time and I was like that is what I was going for for the wedding underwear but yeah I absolutely love these they were the best find I bought them off ASOS they are from Moncule is that how you say that name but I did order them off ASOS the reason that I don't have the light pink ones on me is that I wore them to my last dress fitting which was like a few days ago and so they're currently in the wash so I just thought I'd show you because they're exactly the same as these just in a slightly lighter color okay so I'm just having to insert this clip from like an hour after finishing my video because I forgot that I completely forgot to show you one of the main things that I wanted to show you which was my ring. I, I must have, because I read through the list and like checked that I'd gone through everything with you and it must have been like such an obvious one, the ring, that I just read it and I was like, yeah, done that, done the ring. Didn't show you my ring. We bought our rings from Lane's, which is the same place that James got my engagement ring from. Um, and I just went for a very, I'll just show it to you in the box really. I just went for a very basic ring. Now because my, it's actually got little bits of diamonds in it as well. You just can't see them very well. Let me show you. Little diamonds in it, which are very subtle. I didn't want anything too blingy, but I didn't want anything sort of without any sparkle at all. I just wanted a tiny bit of sparkle. The reason it's got a dip in it is because if you look at my engagement ring, it is actually lifted up. Um, and so the platforms that come out and lift it up, they 
you can't sit a flat ring against the ring, if you get me. So this one, I'll just put it on and show you, sits perfectly next to the ring. So if I just show you, they sit together. So it kind of like, it has a little curve where the engagement ring is held up by the other one. So it's very subtle, it's very simple. Take this one off so you can... I wanted it to kind of be not very noticeable and not look very different because I've really just enjoyed the simplicity of my engagement ring and I just wanted to kind of keep that by adding a little bit of extra but without adding too much. So that's what I went for. So sorry, I forgot to show you that. I will now jump back to normal time. Okay, bye, love you, bye. Okay, what, have we got one thing left? Have we literally only got one thing? That went so quick for me, probably not for you guys. Last thing that I ordered, very recently for the wedding day was an umbrella, okay? I live in Wales. It is a rainy place. <sighs> On the weather forecast, it's not looking great. We've got some storm emojis, we've got some rain emojis, and it's so annoying because let me check right now. Oh, ooh, we've got a storm emoji on the day. Needed the umbrella, you know? Apparently it's good luck if it rains on your wanes, <laughs> if it rains on your wedding day, so you know, I'm just gonna keep that up. So I wanted to get like a cute wedding photo with an umbrella and just, you know, it's okay if it rains. I'm not about to be upset about my wedding day if the rain is coming down on us. We have an ice cream truck, we have, you know, amazing like grounds where people can just walk around, eat their ice creams and all of that stuff and it would be amazing in the sun. But you have to try and not let those things get to you and sort of ruin your day because you just have to think back to the reason you're actually having this day in the first place is to celebrate me and James with our friends, to get married, to devote myself to the, my bestest friend who I love so much. And if it's storming outside and it's raining, we're all still in the same room, doing the same thing. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope uh, you have an amazing week this week. I hope that you know that you are enough. I hope you know that whatever you've got coming up this week, whether it be your freaking wedding, whether it be an event, whether it be something that you've been planning for years, I hope you remember to live in the moment, not only at that event, but up to the event. Whatever's coming, don't forget to live your life. Don't put anything on hold. Don't start, you know, starving yourself or restricting yourself. When you're getting married or you're going to an event, there's a huge pressure of just like diet. You need to diet. You need to be, ooh, careful eating that cake, you know, up to your wedding day. It's like, I'm getting married, the person I love. I'm going to a party, I'm going to this. Why do I need to restrict myself? Why do I need to stop eating just to go to that event, just to look a certain way? Like, when you actually start thinking into stuff like that, it's so messed up. Looking good is being you, and looking good is being confident. And if you can be confident in who you are and exactly who you are right now and exactly, exactly every little thing that you are being and is you right now, down to your, from your head to your toe, that's who you are, and it's freaking awesome. I'll stop babbling now. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for all your support and love and excitement for the wedding. And don't forget to subscribe to my vlogging channel if you wanna see any sort of behind the scenes stuff, all the prep up to our wedding. We're gonna be vlogging the day before the wedding. We're gonna be putting the wedding video up on there whenever that gets edited. We're having professional videographers do the whole wedding day, so that will take a few weeks to get the video done because it's gonna be a much more professional video than our sort of Hey, welcome back to my channel videos. Um, so that'll take a few weeks, but all of the wedding info, all the behind the scenes, all the vlogs are over on my vlogging channel. So if you did want to keep up with me throughout the week, I will be over there. If not, I will see you guys in the next video and I love you all so, so much. Bye guys. Mwah, 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 mwah.